If your voiceover sounds weak or thin, or maybe you can't get it loud enough without distorting, I'm going to show you how to process voiceover in your DAW using only the stock plugins that come with your recording software. I have free voiceover recording tips that can really improve the sounds of your recording. Uh, they're on my website. I'll have the link in the description. I can help you get that big, bold, professional voiceover sound that everybody wants. Uh, Jonathan sent me this file, and we could take a look at what he sent me. Uh, it is a female voiceover for YouTube. Um, Miss ATM is the channel, and uh, it's a finance kind of video. But he wrote me, I asked him to explain what he wants me to change as I put the kind of professional uh, vibe on here. We're going to process it, and I'll walk you through the whole process. He, uh, Jonathan writes, the talent, uh, the voice is lacking clarity. She has a high energy in her voice, but lacks a low thickness, and it's not a pleasant high, at least to me. I noticed she has a tendency to speak loud and tight sounding at the beginnings of the sentence and roll off too quickly at the end. Um, I like a, a thick authoritative voice, but something that has a nice feminine feel to it. I hear you. And he also sent me a podcast, um, an example of what he's trying to go for uh, of a female voiceover. So, And I listened to it and... Um, have a good idea of what he's looking for. So the, we're going to put a uh, uh, gate and compression and EQ, maybe a couple compressors actually on here and really change it. But let's take a listen to it um, raw without any, there's, I think this is right into his uh, recording software or a zoom recorder. I can't exactly tell what it is, but uh, let's listen. The NASDAQ is going for all time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. What does that tell me? I was completely wrong in my... Now, the first thing um, that jumps out to me is uh, the level. Actually, you may think this is kind of low, but this is great because when you start getting into EQ and compression and post-processing, um, you can use all that headroom, all that space. So you, you capture a good dynamic range and then I've got a, a lot of room to play with. And I'm going to use only the uh, stock EQ, stock compressor, all stock plugins for Logic. And I'm actually going to send this session to him afterwards so he's able to uh, use the settings that I have. Um, we're going to first put a, uh, let's see, we'll do an EQ first, get that on the screen, and we'll come back to that. Then I'm going to do a compressor, and let's get that on the screen so you can all see what I'm doing here. And uh, we're also going to do a, maybe another compressor. Not sure yet, but I'm going to stick it up there just so we have it. Let's uh, turn that one off first, and then um, I'm going to I'm going to use a gate. Uh, also, one of the things that I also hear in here is some room noise. So, room treatment can help, um, but I will say that you know, uh, let's see, uh, let's do a gate noise gate. Um, Room treatment can even improve this further, but I will say that as a lot of YouTube voiceovers or voiceover artists or podcasters go, it's not so bad. It actually sounds you know pretty good to start. So, but you can improve it and give it even a more punchy, even more of a punchy sound if he would get rid of some of that echo. Here, let's listen to it again. My previous video of a massive sell-off. I could just hear a little bit of the room. I can try to help that a little bit with EQ, but that may be the high annoying kind of pitchy stuff, high mid-range uh, frequency that he's uh, talking about that he doesn't like. Um, so room treatment will definitely help that. Okay, so we're going to do Q, noise gate, and we're going to put a meter so I can see how it's going. Metering, we'll do a loudness meter, and then I also, I'm going to put on the master track, <laughs> I'm going to use a uh, limiter at the end here. And we'll walk through all this stuff. So, um... Oh, meter compressor. Yeah, that's good for right now. Okay, so why don't we start with the noise gate? Actually, I'm going to turn the compressor on first, and I'm going to use an Opto Vintage because it's a nice, smooth sound. Up and no V shape recovery that is going to happen in. I'm just going to give it a little output volume. This is not set right yet. I'm just going to use the volume from the compressor for right now, just so we can have it at a more uh, a loud enough volume for you here to hear it on this video actually but also so we can adjust the eq which is what i'm going to do first and in q2 2020 i must admit that since it's recorded kind of low you can adjust wh what you see 
uh, in this Logic EQ, you can raise it. So let's take a look at the analyzer. That's, I didn't expect the Fed's intervention in the financial market was so... Okay, so that that low uh, sound, that low energy, we're going to get rid of that because we don't need it. Her voice starts, you know, in the 150, uh, 150 hertz range and up. Um, so we're going to take everything below that out and we're not going to really just going to not use it because we don't want this to um, affect the uh, the circuits of the compressor. I don't want that to drive anything that's happening with the compressor. So we're going to let's make that really steep and really we can kind of move it up to here. So dramatic this time. You could see her voice Nothing doesn't like this really... had been done in the history. The frequencies in her voice end uh, just above 100 hertz really so we took that out history of the fed anyway uh, i'm gonna give her some what i like to call and what everybody calls air or the the uh most producers are call air we are witnessing that v-shape it's it's the breath of her voice you could actually hear the breath push through uh the vocal cords in the mouth and it really does help with intelligibility and I, I like that. And it, it uh, may seem like a lot, but we can always adjust it. I, I always fine tune afterwards. So, but so far, that's what I'm liking. Shape forming better day after day. And one of the things he said is he really likes a thick kind of warm uh, wideness and thickness to especially a female voiceover. And, and definitely that's what I heard in the example that he sent me that he wanted to try to go after. After day. Thank you, Mr. Powell, for printing all of that money. I am very happy for those of you out there who received. Okay, that's a nice little warm bump there. It's not too much. And you, you know what I'll, you'll see? I'll, I'll turn it up too high, and then I'll sweep around and find the frequency that I'm looking for. Who received? And then I'll back it down. Received the one thousand two hundred dollar check it's from kind of the boxy. government. And there is a possibility that you will receive another. And right there's kind of a nice little warm thing for me. Again, I'm gonna fine tune it after we do all the other stuff to it. Uh, he did say there was kind of like an annoying high high mid range thing. Let me see if I could find what that might be, what I hear in her voice, what the prevalent high mid uh, frequency is. Another round of stimulus check in August or September. That is great news for those in need. But hey, will there be a massive market sell off? Oh, let's start it over again. The NASDAQ is going for all time high. The big five are pulling the entire market. Yeah, I'd say it's just about... Um, 3K. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market. So I'm just going to dip that frequency down a little bit so it's not as prevalent. The NASDAQ is going... Um, but what I want to do is give her a little vocal presence as well, uh, different from that air. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. What does that tell me? The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. Okay, uh, it's a good start. We're definitely going to fine-tune it a little bit. So I'm bumping that high mid um, area. We got the air going on. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling... I will say that the mic is a pretty... In my opinion, it's a good fit for her voice because um, nothing is too... Um, uh, too sharp, and uh, the, the frequency response of the microphone, I believe, matches her voice pretty well. It sounds nothing is it was really shouting out, and it's recorded pretty well as uh, as well. So okay, so now we've got kind of a starting point for the uh, EQ. Now let's move back over to the compressor. So we're going to uh, actually let's do the noise gate first. Let's look at the noise gate. So I just still have the um, the channel EQ on and the noise gate. What I'm going to do is. We're going to crank up the look ahead because uh, this is not a live take or we're playing back. And so it's going to be able to gate the uh, um, the audio before we hear it. So it could not lose any of the beginning uh, transients. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. What does that tell me? I was completely wrong in my previous video of a man. Okay, so I've got the threshold, so it's it's opening and closing, but not cutting off any of her uh, initial consonants of, of the words, and uh, and we're having a, a, a fairly medium decay. So we're just capturing everything, but getting out uh, the the getting the uh, the space in between words to completely be silent. The entire market upward. 
closed. What does that tell me? I was completely wrong in my previous video of a massive sell-off and no vision. Um, and if I hear that things are shutting off when they shouldn't be, I'll come back and adjust that too. All right, now we'll switch over to the compressor and we've got a pretty clean and well-balanced with the EQ of signal. Movie shape recovery. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna add a little distortion to thicken up the voice a bit. Recovery. That is and I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do two things here because um, she definitely has consonants uh, consonants that are uh, transients. A lot of stuff is like high, and then the rest of the the uh, material is pretty fairly the same. But there's these these loud peaks, and that's really what I want compression to take care of. So my first compressor is going to capture and and really deal with those those high peaks. That is going to happen in Q2 2020. I must admit that. I didn't expect the Fed's intervention in the financial market was so dramatic this time. Yeah, so I'm, what I really want to do is here, let's look at these two particular peaks. We'll cycle through there. Upward. What does that tell me? So you see when she says what, it's ca it's it's uh, tamping that down for sure. Upward. What does that tell me? Mm, and I can hear the gate not happening here. Let's back that off a Upward. little bit. What does that tell me? And also, I've got... Upward. What does that tell me? I was completely... Upward. What does that tell me? You know, uh, when you start adding... Um, oh, there's a big plane flying over my house right now. You probably hear that in the background. You know, the audio guy uh, on YouTube should have a great <laughs> sound, and you shouldn't hear stuff uh, in the background, but you can't help the military copters every once in a while here in Southern California. Uh, all right, I think he's passed. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Upward. What does that tell me? You know, w what I was going to say is when you start adding um, compression and uh, EQ, the room noise really becomes more prevalent. And yeah, you can hear that now. But but so that it just gives you that much more reason to have a really well uh, treated room. And then you can achieve that great, great, big, bold voiceover, that commanding voiceover sound. Upward. What does that tell me? I was completely upward. Okay, so this um, compressor is going to work on those big transients, those really high uh, transients in the beginning. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to. Um, upward. What does that tell me? We're not going to raise the. Upward. What does that tell me? Gain stitch. We're not going to raise the makeup gain too much, just enough. I want to make sure that the difference between the compressed and the non-compressed signal is similar. Gain staging. Upward. What does that tell me? I was completely upward. What does that tell me? Upward. What does that tell me? Okay, good. So that's pretty similar. And you can see that we're, we're lowering um, the dynamics when she hits that, uh, those higher, louder peaks. Upward. What does that tell me? I was completely upward. What and, and then, you know, you hear when she's just speaking uh, at a more constant volume. Q2 2020. I must admit that I didn't expect the Fed's intervention in the financial market was- It's really just capturing those peaks, and that's what we want to do. So with this compressor, the second one, second compressor, I'm going to use, I'll probably just use the platinum one here and see, I want to um, just really even out everything else now. So it was so- We're going to put that, we'll keep the, you know, the we'll keep the distortion off and uh, maybe around three. So dramatic this time. Nothing like this. Slower uh, attack and release, so it's really kind of smooth. Like this had been done in the history of the Fed. Anyway. So what's happening is the com the compressors in tandem are really making the uh, volume of her voice way more consistent, a lot less dynamic range. And the fact that I have all this control is uh, due to the fact that it wasn't recorded too loud. It's really a great, a good level. We are witnessing that V-shape forming better day after day. Thank you, Mr. Powell, for printing all of that money. I am very happy for those of you out there who received. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. And then uh, let's look at the level the $1, meter. $1,200 check from the government. And there is a possibility. Okay, my peaks are, you know, the loud stuff's hitting around six. So we have a lot more room to kind of master this. And that's what I'm going to use the limiter for. Let's crank it up. Possibility that you will receive another round of stimulus check in August or September. Let me see those. I want to see those peaks again. Upward. What does that tell me? I was completely upward. What does that tell me? I was completely upward. 
what video of a massive sell-off and no V-shaped recovery that is going to happen in Q2 2020. All right, good. So you could see uh, now that we have the limiter. So the compressors are working to even out the dynamics. Uh, we've got a pretty good level. I must admit that I didn't expect the... And uh, we've gained stage the compressors. And then the limiter is uh, really gaining this. We're putting, uh, you know, 9 dB of gain and then making sure it... Uh, uh, has a brick wall limiter that just kind of stops it. So nothing goes over 1.2 as I turn up the game. Back the Fed's intervention in the financial market was so dramatic this time. So now that I have a, a, a it sounds like a much smoother, nicer level, and I'll fine tune a little bit. I want to go back to the EQ now. We'll shape it a little bit better. I, I, I have a, I want to get more warm, less boxy. I kind of, I'm hearing really that room noise is coming through a, a lot more. So I want to see if we could identify that frequency and fix it. This time. Nothing like this had been done in the history of the Fed. Anyway, we are witnessing that V-shape forming better day after day. Thank you, Mr. Powell, for printing all of that money. I am very happy for those of you out there who received the $1,200 check from the government. And there is a possibility that you will receive another round of stimulus check in August or September. That is great news for those in need. But hey... Will there be a massive market sell-off? All right, let's get to, uh, you know, when you go through and you're processing like this and you hear the same thing over and over again, you're going to hear this in your sleep. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. What does that tell me? I was completely wrong in my previous video of a massive sell-off and no V-shaped recovery that is going to happen in Q2 2020. I must admit that I didn't expect the Fed's intervention in the financial market was so dramatic this time. Nothing like this had been done in the history of the Fed. Anyway, we are witnessing that V-shape forming better day after day. Thank you, Mr. Powell, for printing all of that money. I am very happy for the... So what I'd like to do, so you, you saw I kind of went through and just massaged, you know, you really can shape audio with an EQ. Uh, you know, I, I made it a little warmer. There's this kind of boxy thing happening, especially where that reverberation was happening, the echo in the room. And the compressor really brings all those quiet uh, echoes to the front. That's what compression does. You know, it not only evens out the steadiness of the uh, the volume changes, but it also, the quiet stuff, it brings up. And, and you get to hear the quiet uh, consonants, the quiet uh, vowels and stuff in her voice or the breaths and things. So it has more of an emotional impact, which is what you want, but it also ends up bringing up the noise. So it's like a double-edged sword. You know, you get a better sounding voice over uh, with compression and EQ, but it also magnifies any of the room inconsistencies, inconsistencies, which is a, another reason why, you know, having a great, quiet, treated room or as best you can, uh, I think treating a room, you could get a better voiceover sound than if you... Uh, you know, spend all day doing EQ and compression and, you know, or buying expensive equipment. You can, you can do a lot with room treatment. That's, that's where the good sound starts, I think. All right. So uh, one of the things I like to do here at the end is just look at the difference between the unprocessed. So we've got all these plugins here, but I'm going to, I'm going to bounce this in place without the plugins, bypass all the effect plugins. I'm going to put it on a new track just so we can see what the two visually look like. Uh, and you'll see, um, the difference uh, in these two two uh, two uh, recordings. So you know this is much thicker. You know it does uh, looks like we could probably um, squish this a little bit more from a visual standpoint, or at least get some more volume out of it. But I think it sounds pretty good. And uh, I'm going to look through the meters again and see what we've got here. The Nasdaq is going for all time high. The Big Five are pulling the entire market. Uh, we could. Uh, crank up the output. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. All right. The NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entire market upward. What does that tell me? I was completely wrong in my previous video of a massive sell-off and no V-shaped recovery that is going to happen in Q2 2020. I must admit that I didn't expect the Fed's intervention in the financial market was so dramatic this time. Probably could use a DS here, but I have that. To me, that has a nice, thick, uh, present sound. The NASDAQ is going for all time high. 
The big five are pulling the entire market upward. So let's hear the difference between the two. I'll shut all these off. I know it's going to be a lot quieter. The NASDAQ is going for all-time high. The big five are pulling the entry market was so dramatic this time. Nothing like this had been done in the history of the Fed. Anyway, we are witnessing that V-shape forming better day after day. Big, it's a big difference. But now this is ready to be mixed uh, and uploaded to YouTube. And you could really hear it's, it's, it's in your face. And, you know, if you would just, if, if you would have just turned this up, uh, like with a gain, what happens is you could only go so far and then, you know, you, you get these peaks, which is going to distort. But what uh, uh, compression does, let's get this back to zero. What compression allows you to do is expand it. And let's uh, bounce in place again and take a look at it. You can expand the volume, uh, the perceived volume. It gets a lot bigger. The, the quieter stuff gets a lot louder. It's more consistent. It's perceived loudness and it's, it's a, it's, pretty loud in the meter and it's going to be loud when they play it back on YouTube, but we're not distorting. There's nothing being distorted. And uh, I'll just point out once again that, um, you know, now at this point, once you kind of do this treatment, uh, this post-processing with logic for an audio voiceover, it's like uh, your next move is to fix that room and then you've got a killer voiceover sound. So I hope this uh, helps um, just kind of uh, explain a little bit about uh, post-processing and what you can do with just the stock uh, plugins uh, for voiceover, really, any DAW. They've all got these um, plugins that you can use, a compressor and EQ and a limiter and meters and things and noise gates as well. I have several online uh, learning courses available on my website, LennyB.com, all having to deal with audio and voiceover and recording and really optimizing with the equipment you might already have. It's the know-how that can get you pretty far instead of spending a lot more money on equipment. Uh, you can check it out on the website, LennyB.com. Thanks so much for watching.